Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this link. If you clicked on this link, it's because you want to know how you can be praying for our staff throughout the season. And so rather than each of us writing you, we just decided to jump on a call quick and let you know how you can be praying for us in this season. Pastor X, will you start us off? Hey everyone, I would welcome prayer uh, for trust. It just uh, I'm learning how to trust God in, in deeper ways right now with uh, everything being out of my control and trusting that this is all in his perfect timing and uh, we'll get through this in his perfect timing as well. So thank you very much for your prayers. Good deal. Doug, go ahead. Hello everyone. My prayer is for hope. Uh, many of you may know I recently was diagnosed with uh, cancer and I had an operation and four rounds of chemo. So my prayer is that the possibility of bad news in the future won't affect the good days that I'm having now, that I can just remain hopeful in Christ. Good deal. Lisa, go ahead. Any of you, I have a couple people in my home with compromised immune systems, and so we locked down earlier than a lot of others. Um, I just ask for prayers for protection, and that fear will not take over for us and any of you as well. Tyler, go ahead. Um, yeah, with uh, the pandemic kind of kind of hitting, um, I have taken on some more work, um, as well as my wife has started a new role at her job, which she has also taken on more work. So we're just kind of balancing uh, our workload and our, our just kind of our family mode, I guess. Um, so just with some prayers as we balance that and what that looks like uh, moving forward. Good deal. Ashley. I would kind of piggyback off of Tyler's. Mine would be balance um, and just grace. Um, being home and working and my husband being home and working and also having our children home, we've struggled to uh, kind of make things work um, and feel like we're doing a good job at any of it. So um, just some some grace and that um, more towards ourself, I think, and that this season, not everything can be perfect or will be perfect. Um, and thanks you guys for, for caring about us and wanting to have prayer for us. Justin, go ahead. I feel so unspiritual here because um, apparently everybody else has patience because I don't. Um, <laughs> uh, we're lucky enough to be a two family. My wife and I both get to work and uh, we've been learning it in this new stay at home kind of environment. Um, but our kids are kind of maybe not always uh, getting as much attention as they need. And part of that comes from me having patience to just want to try to connect with their world. So I, I pray for patience there, but then I also see this incredible opportunity for the church as well. Our church and the church as a whole to reach more people than ever digitally. And I keep wanting to push the envelope and go, let's do more and do more, but patience to go, let's do it all um, in the right pace at the right time to really make sure we point people to Jesus. So I need prayer for patience. I would love that. Good deal. James Dursey, would you go ahead? Yeah, um, whenever I'm kind of in a season of life where it's hard for me to see like the light at the end of the tunnel, I tend to struggle uh, with some uh, depression. And so that's something that I'm kind of struggling through right now. And then with that comes uh, a lot of symptoms of burnout. Um, and so I think just prayer that I will have peace about the situation, even though there's just so many unknowns and then I'm just encouraged throughout uh, this season. That's good. Crystal, would you go ahead? Yes, um, I would, um, would would like prayer for a family. Um, clearly, all of you guys can relate as well to trying to work with your kids at home and um, keeping your family's, um, you know, attitude, like the attitude of the family and um, spirits up while we're all confined so close together. Um, just a lot of grace in that, um, you know, that's needed from one day to the next. So family life in a very confined space. Good deal. James Nelson. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna ask for prayer for my family and also just, just so they stay healthy and so they all continue to get along. But I'm also gonna ask for prayer for my own health, which has not been the greatest lately. Dave Nelson. <laughs> 
guys, uh, I would say the biggest thing I really like prayer for in this season is just perspective. It's just easy to get so focused on what's happening today. It's so easy to get focused up on what's unfolding on the news and what they say, to, you know, uh, at this hour or this hour and just the, the long-term perspective. And then for really all of us in our church, I just pray that God would give us wisdom on how to capitalize on some of the things we're learning in this season. Uh, one of the best learnings that I think we've all had is that doing online church, although it's not ideal, and there is a huge place for in-person services. So we'll definitely be back to that someday. But uh, that we have such an opportunity now with our kids, with our students, uh, certainly with adults to reach and connect with people that we've never uh, maybe had the opportunity to reach and connect with. And so uh, that would be a huge prayer for all of us. It's just God, give us wisdom to look down the field and uh, be able to make decisions that we know months from now and even years from now will continue to, to pay huge dividends in uh, fulfilling our mission of people helping people find and follow Jesus. That's good. Uh, and I think just uh, just prayer for myself as well, you know, in this season, uh, anxiety is a real easy thing for me to succumb to. And so prayers that anxiety wouldn't override decisions and that um, personally, I would be able to discern and make sound decisions in this season um, as we go forward. So thanks guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, awesome. And hey, hey, Miss Brent, may I interrupt you? Go. I just realized that uh, it's possible that you see our faces and don't even have a clue what we do. So in a, like a quick word, Britt, you just call on us and we'll tell what we do. All right. My name is Dave and I uh, started the church. <laughs> Doug. Oh. Doug. Doug has been silenced by the microphone. Doug, you can unsilence yourself. A team development pastor. Rex, go ahead. <laughs> Campus pastor in Racine. Tyler, go ahead. Uh, student pastor in Racine. James Dursey, go ahead. Uh, creative and music coordinator. Justin, go ahead. Kenosha campus pastor. Ashley, go ahead. Uh, the campus experience director in Kenosha. James Nelson, go ahead. Campus pastor. Liesel, go ahead. Accounting and database. Crystal, go ahead. Crystal has to learn to unmute herself. There we go. No, here I am, here I am. Campus Experience Director in Racine. Good deal. And uh, I'm your group's coordinator. So thank you guys uh, for hanging out with us today. And thank, thank you, you guys for thank praying alongside of us. So church, we love you. That's it. That's it. We love you. That's all she wrote. Love you guys. See ya.